established in 1981, Sawmill Square Mall has been a viable shopping center in Laurel, Mississippi. For 21 years, the center has flourished with stores such as McRae's, J.C. Penney, Bath & Body Works, and Foot Locker. But the center has aged and is showing signs of deterioration. Walls crack. Sidewalks buckle and twist. Interior walls pull away from exterior walls and foundations. And floors in the center's common area have also been affected, as this two-inch dip demonstrates. The problem is now critical and center personnel mobilized to find a solution. In the meantime, two stores are relocated in the center, a shoe store and a ladies clothing boutique. The two stores is where the most interior damage exists and must be corrected. This area looks more like a roller coaster than a sales floor. Mall personnel now face an interesting dilemma. What is the best possible recourse to correct the problem? Contractors of every kind are consulted, including plumbing, electrical, and foundation experts to determine the best possible recourse in the given situation. Eurotech offers a simple solution to a complex problem. While relatively new in the United States, this technology has been used in Europe for years. This crew has used this technology successfully on roads and highways, high-rise buildings, and many other commercial and residential applications all over the country. The Eurotech method is trademarked and patented technology, and it will not be discussed here, but rather its application and result. Mall personnel and project managers scour over floor plans as last-minute preparations are made. The plan is to raise the floor, and Eurotech can do just that. As their logo illustrates, the product is pumped into the floor in liquid form. It follows the path of least resistance, dams up and expands, seeking its own mass. As the pressure from the ground and slab becomes greater, it hardens and its density pushes upward on the slab floor. Every minute detail is covered and nothing is left to chance. Questions are asked concerning unknown circumstances such as what effects will this have on the walls, ceiling and fixtures? As a precaution, storefront windows are removed to prevent cracking or possibly shattering when the support beam underneath is raised. Measurements are made and the floor is divided up in sections. Small labels record the measurements and then are placed strategically across the floor in each section. These are, all these numbers are from here is my zero on this beam, so everything we've got on these White circles is uh, down from that beam right there. Small holes are drilled in each section and then inserted with a small plug on both sides of the store. The plug support a string that is pulled tightly from one side to the other. This is how the floor is divided up into separate sections. The number of sections is determined by the size of the affected area. Now a small hole is drilled into the support beam in this section. The product will be pumped in and raise the support beam.
As it's pumped in the void beneath the beam, it's jammed up and the floor begins to rise. This process is continued in each section until all sections are level. After completing the shoe store, the common area and dress shop are prepped and restored. As the work draws to a conclusion, the property manager makes a final inspection. The work has gone smoothly with minor difficulties. All affected areas are near level and work went better than expected. Project's on very well. Uh, Mr. Pace was here the first week of the project and uh, great supervision uh, on all the people that were involved, the staff. Uh, we had a lot of uh, minor details that came up at the last minute and uh, removing uh, storefront glass, things of that nature, a little bit of plumbing problems, uh, all probably resolved within a matter of a day or two at the longest. Um, extremely good project, went very well uh, ahead of schedule, and uh, I think the tenants will be pleased. We will do a final walkthrough with the tenants Saturday night prior to moving them back in on Sunday. Uh, great coordination, uh, products seem to do very well in a uh, very satisfactory manner. This was the dress shop's roller coaster. And this was the two inch dip. It's now level with the exterior wall separated from its foundation. And the shoe store center no longer has a five inch dip. As with any structure that's 21 years old, the signs of aging are apparent and maintenance will always be the top priority. As the only mall in Laurel, technologies like Eurotech will help Sawmill Square remain here for many years to come.